Although cases of the disease are still high in most African countries, health education programs are helping bring the rates down. In the Central African Republic, for instance, nets soaked in insecticides are being widely distributed and are helping to curb the disease. However, they are yet to reach other regions in the continent. At Kenya's Medical Research Institute, Francis Kimani runs the laboratories investigating the spread of malaria. He believes the disease has remained prevalent because mosquitoes are increasingly becoming resistant to insecticides. These uh, mosquitoes are able to resist this um, insecticide and as such they are able to persist in the ecosystem and as such they are becoming efficient in transmitting the, the, the disease. The parasites at the same time, we have now good evidence that they are now able to resist to a commonly available, cheap, safe antimalarials. That means if, and if we have enough medicine and um, we are treating our population, they are, the, the, the parasites are able to, to evade all these uh, treatment uh, regimes that we are putting into place. Other teams around the world are also working on eradicating malaria. Scientists at this laboratory in Europe are trying to find new ways to make people repellent to the insects using botanical essential oils. How the olfactory system, how the smell system of the mosquito works, it, the smell system of the, of the mosquito, as in many insects, is on the antenna, mostly. So on the antenna they have sensory cells, like in your nose, like your, your olfactory epithelium in your nose, they have it on the antenna. And so we were, on the one hand, interesting in understanding how this sensory system works in mosquitoes, and then through the understanding of how it works, trying to interfere with it to, to, to break this link between mosquitoes and man. At another laboratory at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Researchers, scientists have been pumping the concentrated order of a live body through a tube to mosquitoes. They are trying to produce a trap which could decrease the population of the parasite carrying mosquitoes. The World Health Organization's target is to eliminate malaria by the end of 2015 in 10 new countries. But Kimani believes the target is not achievable in Kenya or other African countries. The 2014-2015 may be maybe too ambitious. You're talking of next year with a prevalence of up to 40% in some areas in the country. So it's a good uh, target, but in terms of timing, it might be very realistic. But when you talk of specific small zones, that can be realistic. But globally, nationally, regionally, it might be very much achievable. As the World Health Organization launches its seventh annual World Malaria Day, it says that since the year 2000, malaria mortality globally has dropped by 42%, and in African nation, it has declined by 49%. It further says that since 2000, political commitment and financial investment globally has saved some 3.3 million people. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.